Hello, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and this is Project 4 of You Are Enough. And so we've done, a, the single page was Project 1, and then we had a dual page uh, for Project 2 and for Project 3, and Project 4 is also uh, two pages. So let's get going. Okay, so the instructions say stamp the gems on light glacier. Which, these are all about light glacier. And let's just, whoops. Come here. Okay, let me set this over to the side here and we'll just concentrate on getting all of these gems. And they're all gonna get sapphire. Here we go. So we've got two diamonds. Whoops, how does that go? Oh, I've got the wrong one. Duh. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Hello. So we have one diamond. Oh, that looks good. Okay, now we've got you just set him up there. Put him down and do this one. Okay, that's this one. There we go. These come out nice, very nice, nice thin lines. Put him back in place. We've got the heart. We've got two hearts to do. Very good. And the last one is, I think it's a hexagon. So just so you know, see that is the lighter side of, of the glacier that we're using. Okay, put my hearts over there. These are very cute. Well, I guess I need to, <laughs> I need to stamp it, stamp it first. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm turning into a goofball. Okay. I'm going to set this aside, put that stamp back, put this over here and set that aside. Get this ink out of the way so I don't mess up my paper because I've done that before. Those butterflies. So this is project four. And you know what? I thought that that was it, but there's actually five projects. So have I been giving the wrong count? Have I been saying nine pages and it's actually 11? 
Is that how goofy I am? That might be how goofy I am. Okay, here are all the pieces for page one of project four. This is a lot of pieces. So this one, Okay, I'm going to set that aside now. This, oh, we get to tear. Okay, so we're going to tear approximately a half an inch off of all of these pieces. So I'm going to tear it towards me so I get the uh, inside of the um, cardstock showing, the white core of the cardstock. And then and you don't necessarily want to get this even, so They have it kind of choppy, and I think that gives gives it more character. Okay, so here we go. Now the only piece we're not going to tear is that one, so I'm glad I looked at that. Okay, so I think we're going to start at the top and kind of, what's going to be nice is these pieces go all the way to the edge. Get a little bit more Tombow to my corners. Hold them in place. Okay. Okie dokie. So the first one I'm going to put down is the zip strip. Guess who? Okay, and this is going to be, except they start at the bottom. All right, be that way. I'm not exactly sure how you start at the bottom when you're putting things underneath stuff. How are you supposed to do that? Okay, prepare a piece. Use hexagon for the base page. Attach tip. The top untorn piece edges of each of these will touch 4C, which is what's 4C? Okay, so this piece Let's see if I can figure this out. This piece goes one and a half inches down. So that's, here's one and a half and one and a half. Okay, then the zip strip is gonna go on top of it. Okay, and then the I'm going to trim this. There's a tad of dark showing. Mm. 
These micro tip scissors are such a fine cut that taking just a hair off of the zip strip is very easy to do. These scissors are very sharp and that's how thin that is. I love these scissors. Okay, so here's the diamond piece. I am snugging this right up to the paper so you don't see anything coming through. And then the next piece to go down is this one. Okay, so that goes like that. Oops. And then this is going to go, let's see, whoops, I lost a piece. It's kind of, I'm going to tear a little bit more off of this one. Yeah, I'm going to tear some more off of this one. So I'm going to attach the white onto this piece and I'm going to put it just like right to the edge of the bottom there like that. And then I'm going to stack them and this is one inch up from the, so that's going to go about like that. Okay. Don't know why sometimes this happens. Okay, so I made a stack. Here. And then I'm just going to put all of those one inch up from the bottom. So that's how I'm doing that. Okay, so this guy is going to go down. And it is going to be a half an inch over and one and three fourths inches down from the top. So one, two, and three fourths. So just exactly there. And this is a four by six. Now what's gonna go on here is this title, You Are Enough. Okay, so we're gonna put the, let's start off at the back end here with enough. And it is going to go you know, about a half an inch or so over from the picture, maybe 
like right there. And I'm just eyeballing to see, kind of space them, same amount of space in between each letter. And then the E. Sometimes it's good to start at the end Okay, and then the UR goes right along the top here. So once again, you're going to, you know, space things. Try to eyeball it. And hopefully, here we go. And we've got these things that we're going to use so those are going to go like over so I'm going to add use my anti-static pouch and so we'll be able to put the picture under and then you want to do these like you would a honeycomb. So you want to have them evenly spaced like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Okay, that's all the stickers that we're going to use. And we're going to use a, uh, let's see. We've got the diamond, this one, that's going to be down here, and the heart is going to be here, and the hexagon is going to be here, and those are going to get popped up for sure. Okay, so this one's going to go on the white, and I think I'm going to space mine a little bit differently. And then we need the little pink butterflies. Those are the kind of bluish ones. Here we go. There they are. And I like how they have these little butterflies. Could use the blue ones there. One is down here. And then have one coming like here and one coming up here. Look at that. That's fun. So here's the four by six. Okay, let me set this page aside. 
And I think, oh, they have one more. They actually have, I didn't see that, they actually have one on top of work. Okay. Okay, so there's one. And then here's page two. Okay, so let's see if we can remember what, <laughs> what we did for page two. I mean, from page one. So once again, we're gonna rip. So if you rip away, then you're, you're gonna not show. You'll just have the cut edge um, showing and not not the white core. But you can experiment with the ripping and see how much core you want to show or how little. But just, you know, there is no right or wrong way. Just do it to your liking. Okay, so we'll get our little paper in place here. And here, and then we're gonna come down one and a half inches. So there's your one and a half from here to here. And then we're gonna put our butterfly zip strip on, put it on top. Then we have another zip strip And then we've got this piece. And that is going to go edge to edge. And then I'm going to put this one on the bottom here like I did the other one. So that's gonna go like that and then I'm gonna put Go one inch, right? One inch, one inch, one inch. Okay. When these act wacky, all you have to do is screw them with this. There's a little slot here to do the take up. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. 
Okay, and we're going to come down one and three fourths inches. And so here's the one and three fourths. Hard to see. One and three fourths. That one. And it's going to go vertically. And it's going to be a half an inch over from the side. So there we go. And then this one is going to go tad over and just keep the. And then we've got a four by four. And that's going to go right along with that. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And just so you can kind of see how much is going to show. So it's about an eighth of an inch all around. I don't know why I have don't have any four by sixes in here. I have to get some from the other room. And then I'll put a four by six here. Okay, so now we need the stickers again, and we've got Dream, just gonna go here. And create, and I'm gonna use my anti-static pouch so it can kind of overlap. Hmm. Well, maybe this was supposed to move over more this way. So that could go like that. Yeah. That's it. That's how that goes. And then we've got So we can make some lines here for journaling. And uh, I'm going to put a butterfly here and a heart. And then this little geometric So I have to tell you, I think that it makes it easier to do all the cutting beforehand. And then you can just put your, then you can gather your pieces for each project. And then you can just go after it. And uh, it just makes it it makes it easier, I think. It seems to me it would take a lot of time to, you know, keep on going back to cutting. So you kind of, this way you kind of have continuity going. Okay, so let's get some lines going for the journaling. Unless, let me see. I don't remember a three by four card having journaling, but let's just see. Yeah, I don't think there's any journaling on the 3x4s. I think they were just on the 4x6s. Okay, well, I could use one of these cards and put the lines on there. But I'll just go ahead and... and uh, Do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use these, um, use our grid pattern on our layout sheet 
to uh, just make the grids easier, make the journaling lines easier. So I'm going from 10 to 10, and then I'm going to come down a half an inch on either side and make another line. And then another half an inch on either side. So this, there's so many benefits to this layout mat. And I'll make down to eight, eight and eight. And then maybe one more. So we're at seven and a half. Okay, that just makes it so, so easy. So I've got all my journaling lines and I'm going to put a butterfly up here. And there I've got my second page done. I have my second page done. So there you go. These, these pages, see when you've got all your pieces already cut, these pages really go pretty darn quickly. So here, here we have Here we have project four. This is crazy how, how fast these go together. Is that pretty? It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I, I wish you could appreciate how much how shiny these are, but oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Okay, that's project, project four. Done. Thanks. Don't forget to sub subscribe, pardon me. And um, I can't wait for May 1st when you can get these papers too. So they'll probably just be available uh, till the end of May or maybe June. I have to see. Let me see. I'll find out and let you know on the next on the next um, layout. Thanks for watching. Bye.